Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about uniquely detectable codes or we can say that prefix code. So the prefix code is also known as uniquely detectable codes. A prefix code is a variable length code with a prefix property. So a prefix code should follow the prefix property. That's why we can say it as prefix code. Let's discuss about this prefix property in more detail. So here is an statement for prefix property. According to the prefix property in a set, there should be no code word, which is a prefix of another code word. So here is an example of set P, which consisting of four code words that is 0, 1, 10 one, and 11. One, one. Since if we analyze this set, we get to know that the code word 1 is present as a prefix in the code word 10 and this code word 1 is also present as a prefix in the code word 11. So that's how we can say that it is not a valid prefix code. Now let's consider the example second which consisting of the four code words that is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1 1 1 so if we analyze this set carefully then we get to know that this 0 is present in the code word 1 0 0 and in the code word 1 0 1 but this 0 is not present at the first position that is as the msb bit that's why the 0 is not acting as a prefix to the code word 1 0 0 and the code word 101. That's why we can say that it is following the prefix property and since this set is following the prefix property that's why we can say that P is a valid prefix code. Now the codes assigned in such a way that the code assigned to the one character is not a prefix of code assigned to the another character. So that's how we discussed in this example. Now, every prefix code can be represented in the form of binary tree, that is in the form of 0 and 1, such that every edge in the LHS of this binary tree is labeled with the 0 and each and every edge in the RHS of this binary tree is labeled with the 1. Let's consider an example. that is offset p given as 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 so this is the set p before drawing this binary tree let's assign some variables to it so let me assign variable a to the code word 0 and variable b to the code word 1 0 0 variable c to the code word 101 and finally variable d to the code word 110. Now let's draw its binary array. So here is 0 and here is 1. Now let's check is 0 present in this set? Yes it is present here and it is named as a. So we will write a here. Similarly, is 1 present in this set? No, it is not. So, we will continue the same procedure. So, in the LHS, we will assign 0. In the RHS, we will assign 1. Now, here the code word will become 1, 0. So, if 1, 0 present in this set? No, it is not present. Here is the code word that is 1, 1. So, let's check 1, 1 present in this set. No, it is not. So, the procedure will be continued from here and from here. Here is 0, here is 1 and here is also 0 in the LHS and in the RHS we will get 1. Now, if we talk about this code word then it become 1, 0, 0. 
is 1 0 0 present in this set yes it is at b so we will write b here now here is 1 0 1 so 1 0 1 present in this set yes it is at c so we will write c here now let's check for this code word that is 1 1 0 if it is present no it is not so we will leave this now let's check for the final code word that is 1 1 1 is 1 1 1 present in this set yes it is at d so we will write d here and in this way we can form the weighted binary tree for all the four variables that is a b c and d so this is weighted binary tree now let's have a look at the optimal weighted binary tree so optimum binary tree let us consider an example of the set p that is having the four code words given as 0 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so these are the four code words of set p here is a here is the variable b here is the variable c and it is variable d now let's make its binary tree so here is the node in the lhs of which we will assign 0 and in the rhs we will assign 1 is 0 present in this set yes it is at a so we will write a here is 1 present in this set no it is not so we will keep continuing the following procedure so we assign 0 here and assigning 1 here now the code word will be 1 0 is 1 0 present yes it is at b so we will write b here now we will keep continuing the same procedure that is 0 in the lhs and 1 in the rhs so now its code word will become 1 1 0 so if 1 1 0 present yes it is at c so we will write c here and keep continuing with same procedure that is 0 in the lhs and 1 in the rhs now we will check for the 1 1 1 and 1 is it is present now if you analyze this tree then we will get to know that there will be no option for this code word that is 1 1 1 because it was generated here but the c was also generated at this stage that's why we had written only the c here we can say that d is generated here so this is how we can form the weighted binary tree let's form the optimal binary tree for this same example so here is the node in the lhs of which we are assigning 0 and in the rhs of which we are assigning 1 is 0 present here yes it is at a is 1 present here no it is not so continuing with the same processor that is 0 in the lhs and 1 in the rhs so it is 1 0 1 0 present yeah it is at b 1 1 is present no it is not so repeating the same processor we will get 0 1 is 1 1 0 present in this set yes it is at c now the difference of the weighted binary tree and the optimum binary tree is nothing but in case of the optimum binary tree we can also check for this rhs branch that is is 1 1 1 present in this set yes it is at d so we will write d here so in this way we can reduce the number of steps and form the optimal binary tree now let's have a look at the calculation of code word for weighted binary tree and optimal binary tree 
so the length of code word for the weighted binary tree would be equals to for one it is only having the one code word that's why we can say that the length is one for a let's calculate it for b so it is one and two so these are the two steps so we can say that the length is nothing but equals to two for b now calculate for c so it is one two three so the length is three for c and for d it is one two three and four so the length of code word is four for d in case of weighted binary tree now let's calculate the length of code word in case of optimal binary tree so for the a it is only having one code word that is zero so we can say that the length is equals to one for the b it is one two so the length is two for the c it is having one two and three and for the d it is one two and three so if we compare the length of weighted and the optimal binary tree then we will get to know that here is the difference between the length of the stages for d so in this way we can reduce the length of the code word by using optimal binary tree and this is all about the lecture of prefix coding if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you